everybody. Let's get another Halloween design going. I am about to show you my very favorite witch. So I load my filbert mostly with light green, but I still want that dark green edge because it lets me do cheater shading. We're gonna go up across her eyebrow, then we're gonna come down, and then for her nose, we wanna come out and kind of hook her nose down like a witch's nose does, and then just kind of over. And we grab the nostril right there as her chin. And then we have the bottom of her chin here and we just kind of fill it in. And the reason I call this cheater shading is because you can see the outer edge is just a little darker than the rest. And so it gives the idea of shading, but we don't have to actually go through and think, okay, where is the light source? Right at the same level of the eye, we want to put in a little witchy ear. And then we're gonna flip so that the darker edge of my brush is facing out. And we're gonna just come here and do a little neck, right like that. When their eyes are closed, this will look full, but go ahead and open your eye for a second. And you can see we have quite a lot of skin that isn't painted. And so I like to get a smaller brush, a round brush. Just grab that green and just bring it back in. As much fun as I have painting unicorn hair, painting witch hair is even more fun. So think of yourself as a hairstylist for witches. I usually go with a yellow or with like an orangey red, but you could do beautiful black hair or really whatever you want. Now we're gonna make her a little bit of a salt and pepper witch because full black is a little dark. Now normally I would do a black hat, but since we've got black hair, I want there to be some variation. Purple is actually a really good Halloween color. Wherever your hair is, we're gonna come out a little bit further than that for the brim of the witch's hat. And then we can just follow along the top of that ear. Might poke up a little bit above the rim of our hat. And then you can see that a normal witch's hat would come up here into the hair. So we can have the hat either bend down onto the witch's face, which will look a little more like a Christmas elf. So what we're gonna do instead is we're gonna come forward. I have it dip down and then up because this witch's head is gonna come up into the hat. Make sure you make room for a lot of the witch's brain space. She's a smart witch. Whatever the hat color is, I like to come down here and add just a hint of that same color. Now, one of the things that's really fun with witches is they have the coolest pets. And so we've got this other eyebrow over here and I like to have a full design whenever I'm doing something. So we can choose, we could put a bat Right here, we could put a cat, we could put a toad. We can set it on top of her hat or we can put it on the end, we can put it hanging off, it could be a spider. Um, but of course, the quintessential pet for a, a witch is a cat. So we have two little cat feet. And then we're gonna just do a U or N. So we're gonna go again, thin to thick to thin, right there. And then we wanna come up with this little flick right there, that's gonna be the neck. We're just gonna do a little circle for the head. Honestly, when I'm painting kids at Halloween, this little cat shows up all over the place. I love this cat. So we do a flick up for both of the ears. And then we do some flicks out for the fur. If we do a tail straight up and like jaggedy, it will look like this cat is surprised. And if we do a tail down, it will look like a nice happy cat. I want this cat to be a little ragged, so I'm giving it kind of raggedy tail. And just with those basic shapes, we get this great black cat. Now the most important part of the line work on a witch to me is actually that nostril right there. Do the curl. We're gonna come out to give her a really ugly wart right there. And then we're gonna come down and we're gonna have her frown. And then up smile just a little. We'll give her a little bottom lip. And then we'll give her this nice bulby chin and give her a nice jawline. An ear out here, but let's make sure it's hairy. Just a little bit of eyeliner. Curl her hair just a little. Adding a few wrinkles and folds can really be effective. So now I want to give this witch a nice buckle on her hat. We want the eyes to not be too far apart. So I've dried my brush off on my paper towel and it gives me a really thin white because this witch is not one that's gonna have really crisp white. And one thing that I've really been thinking about lately, and you'll hear me say it over and over, is that every line tells a story. In a picture, if a line isn't communicating something, then you don't need it. You could even do this part with a little bit of a liquid bling. So I have a very, very dull gray. I mean, it's mostly water. 
and add those wrinkle lines. So we've got a little gold here we can accent. We've got the purple and we've got the green. So this gives us the purple and some teal. Sparkles are the secret way to make anything spooky also pretty and beautiful. I like to just add a little moon. Again, everything should add to our story. And so now we know that our little witch and kitty are doing something mischievous at nighttime. <laughs> Loose glitter, a little bit of purple onto this witch. I love it. It's awesome.